I think that the good thing for patients with her to positive metastatic disease, we have a lot of new drugs uh, that uh, will came uh, to the arena uh, of treatment of, of them. So we still need uh, more information about the best sequence in the metastatic setting. We've heard that ESMO this year the results of the Destiny O3 trial comparing TDM1 to Trastuzumab deruxtecan with a huge benefit uh, using um, uh, Trastuzumab deruxtecan mainly in the trial in second line, but also for more protected patients. We also had data in a more protected population with uh, in HER2 in later lines. So for sure, once this drug is approved, will uh, be um, used in the treatment of patients, but we still have combinations with uh, of chemotherapy with trastuzumab, with different TKIs, lapatinib, noratinib. Uh, we do have other agents uh, that will arrive to the clinic like marhituximab or other ADCs like CID-985 that uh, still needs to go to, uh, through the regulatory agencies. But at the end of the day, I see that uh, as an opportunity for patients. Unfortunately, patients, um, <clears throat> even with the benefits that we've seen in the clinic, they may uh, have resistance to previous lines. So to have all this armamentarium to treat uh, uh, cancer, it's uh, a good thing for them. We have to work um, trying to design the better strategy and we have to learn about the mechanisms of resistance to each of these compounds uh, to design the best uh, sequence for them and also take into account the toxicities uh, from each regimen also to, uh, to consider the quality of life of the patients uh, that it's also an important uh, and a key issue for patients with metastatic cancer.